myself wondering what did happen to the last ten. I ran away with my life fast forward, never turned back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And our team was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. It's winter here, so I don't have my coffee. Um, I save that for special occasions because I find it a little difficult to moderate. So I'm having just a hot water with my LMNT for the morning. And um, that's probably about it until later this afternoon when I'll have my first meal. Good morning. It's uh, Sunday morning here, 20th of August in Melbourne, Australia. Weather is pretty gloomy. It's um, cold, wet cloudy just miserable i'm so looking forward to the summer getting out there in the sun i see all your walking videos um kip and amazing alabama looks awesome at the moment and i look forward to being able to getting out there in the summer and showing you some of my streets of melbourne um i've been reflecting over the last 18 months i guess uh this weight loss journey, the carnivore journey, it's been awesome. But I do have now well, two, two regrets. The first one is not finding this way of eating earlier. Um, geez, I could have saved a few, quite a few years of heartache and, you know, missing out on life. But I found it, so that's a positive. Second regret is not taking photos, um, taking measurements, keeping records. My coaches, Emily and Raymond, advised me to take some photos, take a few measurements that I may be able to go back down the track and have a look at where how far I've come. And I thought, yeah, 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 no worries. But geez, there was no way I was getting in front of that camera. I hated myself. I looked terrible. I was embarrassed. <laughs> embarrassed? I didn't even want to see what I looked like. Uh, I never looked in the mirror. I just... I knew I was overweight. I didn't know how like how bad I looked. I didn't want to know. I just didn't think about it. I was just really, really numb to how I was. But anyway, now I'm going to start doing that. Um, I thought this YouTube would be a good platform to do that with, you know, be able to track the rest of my my health journey online and share it with you guys in the hope that I can help inspire a few others that have lost their way so I might do a, a weekly weigh-in so I'll start tomorrow morning Monday but um, you know I was thinking oh, I should start in September and it's always you know starting a week or starting a month or whatever but no I'm going to start this is my first video. I was thinking about this last night and I thought, no, nah, I'm going to make this video now. And why put off what I can start now in September? I mean, that's still, what, two weeks, nearly two weeks away? No, start now. And so this is my accountability video. And tomorrow I'll do a weigh-in and I'll track some of my food for you and just um, show you what I do in a day which is probably not much. I work from home and um, <laughs> in front of the computer, but, you know, I've got my birds and my dog. I might feature them a little bit. And um, I'm also going to start a bit of movement. I don't move a lot. I've bought this awesome sit-stand desk and I'm still sitting. It was, I bought it to inspire me to stand and work because my, my job is predominantly email-based. So I'm on my bottom all day. So I'm not very um, mobile. So I'll be working, standing up um, as much as I can. I'm going, Obviously, I have to pace myself. Um, I haven't done much exercise in the last six, 18 months because the, the small amount of exercise that I did, I, I would be laid up for three days because of the pain in my back and my legs and my body. I mean, I'm so heavy. Um, and I just couldn't hold myself up. Just doing three minutes on a, the treadmill, it's my mum's treadmill, which I've had in my bedroom for over 10 years. Uh, I've used it maybe two times, and it would kill me. Um, so I have to really start slow and work my, my way up. 
Um, uh, but I'm going to start this week. And my daughter, she used to do Pilates and then she went to Japan on a, a break and then she's come back and it's like, I really want to do Pilates again, but it's so expensive. It's, you know, about $50 for two classes through the week and you have to go at their hours. And we thought, why don't we hire one? So we bought a, or hired a Pilates reformer and it arrived yesterday and I'm going to get try doing a little bit of that um, to help strengthen my back and legs and arms. She's got all the exercises and they've come, it's come with a really cool app. So I'm going to go through that today and have a look at that and see if I can do a bit of strength training as well to help with my journey. So that's exciting. Um, I've never really wanted to do exercise before. I'm not an exercise person. I mainly because I'm so uncoordinated and I was, yeah, never very energetic like that. I was never one of the cool kids. But I'm starting to feel like a bit like a cool kid now and wanting to try it out. So, yeah, I'm very excited about that. So we'll start that tomorrow. So I'll do a weigh-in and a bit of a what I do in a day. And I don't know how much I'll post. I'll see how I go. We'll just take it a day at a time. I'm, there's no big plans, but... Yeah, if I've got new things to share, I will. Anyway, um, thanks for listening and yeah, let's do this.